starting with the great name of Allah, who is the most merciful and almighty. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is engineer Muhammad Fiyaz and my group member is engineer Muhammad Adil. Today I am here to discuss the topic of my final year project presentation which is design and implementation of the MMC in the hill setup for the high performance applications which has been done in the supervision of the Dr. Jamshed Ahmad Ansari and co-supervision of engineer Mahnoor Mughal. These are the contents of our presentation which we will discuss one by one later on. First of all, we will discuss about the introduction. Then we will move towards the literature review from where we have taken these problem statements. Then we will move towards the proposed solutions, research objectives, proposed methodologies, development of the MMC, online and offline simulation results. Then we will move towards the major applications and references are given at the end. First of all, we are going to discuss the introduction. As the world population has been increasing, the demand of electrical power is also increasing. In order to meet the demand, the world is moving towards the renewable resources as they believe that non-renewable resources are decaying day by day. Two technologies are used to transmit the electrical power from one place to another place, which are HVAC system and HVDC system. But the HVDC system is the most dominant technology for the future power system because of its low losses. Different topologies are used in the HVDC system to transmit the electrical power from one place to another place, which are voltage source converter, current source converter, modular multilever converter, etc. But the MMC is the most prominent topology in the HVDC system because of its long features, like it has low THD, it has high efficiency, and low index of modulation, etc. Moreover, it can be used as an inverter as well as it can be used as a rectifier as it can convert DC into AC and AC into DC. Moreover, in order to get the desired output waveform, we can increase or decrease the level by adding or removing the submodules in the modular multilever converter. So what is power hardware in loop system? A power hardware in loop system is basically a simulation technique that is used to develop and test the complex real-time embedded system. This simulation shows the real-time results and real-time response of the controller and it helps the researcher and engineer to work in the safe system while working on the risky test. Moreover, it has some advantages like it doesn't need any mathematical modeling, it doesn't even need expertise of the FPGA or tools of the FPGA. We made model and load into it and we can get the simulation results. So these are the literature reviews from where we have taken the problem statements that what are the what were the problem statement in the previous and other topologies. These are the problem statement taken from the literature review that other topologies have high THD level, their efficiency was low, they have low fault tolerance capability, moreover the modulation of index is high, they needed external reactive power to turn on the switching devices. Moreover, they have high DI by DT and DV by DT stress and most of them are offline. These are the solutions that have been proposed in the project. The circuit of the MMC designed in the MATLAB and its controller is designed into the lab view. This designed MATLAB circuit is loaded into the NIPXI and its controller circuit loaded into the serial. We use a rest level modulation technique which uses the n plus 1 and 2 n plus 1 modulation strategy to control the MMC. Different level of MMC have been developed and it is implemented in the hill setup to check the real time simulation results and its result show the approximate similar result as the real time results. The research objective of the project are to develop MMC with the reduced THD for the high performance applications. Moreover, by using the fundamental frequency technique, improve the efficiency of the MMC. By using different technique, control the MMC and validate this MMC into the hill setup. These are some of the features of the MMC, which I uh, already discussed earlier that it has low total harmonic distortion. Moreover, it doesn't need any filter as its output waveform is nearly sinusoidal. Its modular structure helps us to get the required and desired output waveform. Moreover, 
it can easily scale up or scale down by adding or subtracting the submodules. Moreover, it has the high tolerance capability than the other topologies and its switching losses and the semiconductor losses are much less than the other topologies and it has excellent quality of the output waveform. So these are some of the features due to which it is the uh, more dominant topology of the. This is the circuit topology have been used to develop the MMC. You can see here there are two arms of the MMC, an upper arm and a lower arm. And each arm consists of the different submodules which are connected in the series and these two arms are connected through an inductor which is used to control the current between the arms which is due to the voltage difference of the arm. Moreover, each submodule consists of a capacitor which is used uh, to get the specific or desired level of the output voltage. And this diode is used to control the current, current flow uh, in the in submodule. So this is the proposed methodology which we have followed throughout the project. This is the circuit diagram of the MMC in the MATLAB that we have made. You can see here there are two arms and these are connected uh, through an inductor. So a different modularity st uh, modulation strategy have been used uh, in the different literature review, but we have used an LM technique which is more useful due to the reduced THD, less computational burden, less converter losses, simplicity, advanced voltage capacitor balancing system. Moreover, it can convert the reference voltage uh, of the arm into the staircase. You can see here, this is the algorithm of the NLM in the lab view, and this is the flow chart. So uh, we will provide the three phase three phase sinusoidal wave, which will be converted into the staircase, and these staircase will be provided to the uh, modular multi-level converter. Basically, this is the NLM model in the MATLAB. First of all, we will provide the sinusoidal wave for the 35 level MMC, which will be scaled down by the round off uh, function and after that, the saturation function will uh, convert it into the staircase, which will be compared and then provided as an input for the MMC. This is for the upper case, upper arm, and this is for the lower arm. Question arises here that why we use NLM instead of the other control techniques? Basically, there are many advantages. Like it works on the fundamental frequency, which means that it works on the low frequency while others working on the high frequency. Moreover, it reduces the switching frequency, reduces the har total harmonic distortion. It is simple to implement and enhance the reliability due to which we use the NLM instead of the other techniques. So these are the offline simulation results of the different level. You will notice that when we increase these numbers of the level of the MMC, these inverter voltage waveforms and current waveform will become smoother and smoother and after specific level of the MMC, you will see that these become very much smoother and it will become uh, nearest to the sinusoidal waveform. Here you can see that there are many distortion in the input voltage waveform and also in the current waveform. So when we increase the number of level from the 3 to 6, you will see that this become much more smoother than the uh, level 3. Moreover, when we increase to uh, 9 level and after that 35 and at last 51, you will see that the result of inverter voltage waveform and current waveform become much smoother than the first one and it is nearly equal to the sinusoidal waveform which is required out of waveform of the MMC. Also, you will notice that the circulating current of the MMC by increasing the number of the level is reduced which is very important for the output voltage waveform. You will also notice that the index of modulation is approximately equal to 0.8 which was required uh, for the project. These are uh, the comparison of the total harmonic distortion and the modulation of the index. You will see that when we increase the number of the sub module and number of the level of the converter from 3 to 51, the THD is reduced and the modulation of the index will also reduce. You will see that when the number of the level were 3, the THD was 7.75 and the modulation was about 1 which is very high. When we increase the number from 3 to 6 and 6 to 9, then 9 to 35 and 35 to 51, the THD becomes 7.12, 2.92 and 1.32 and after that it becomes 0.72 which is less than 0.8 and it is according to the IEEE standard and also the modulation is about 0.8 which is also the standard of the IEEE. 
Now, this is modified NLM. Modified NLM works like the conventional NLM, but with the phase shift. This beta is a phase shift. When the phase is shifted, the shear waveforms, which are very much larger, become smaller and the output waveform becomes smoother and smoother. Now, these are the results of the modified NLM. You can see that when the technique was N plus 1, which was conventional technique, the uh, output waveform are very larger. And when the NLM is uh, modified and it becomes a 2N plus 1, you can see that these steps become smaller and smaller and the output waveform getting smoother and smoother. Also, when we increase the numbers of the level, you will see that these waveforms become nearly sinusoidal, which are the required output waveform. Now, this is the NLM circuit model in the lab view. You can see that we are providing sine wave and it is converted into the staircase and then it will be compared and the nearest level will be provided as input to the modular level converter. Now, as we implemented this NLM into the serial, you can see that these are the reference voltages and these are converted into the staircase and these staircase are very useful for the MMC as it becomes the input for the MMC. So, these are the real-time simulation results for the 6-level MMC when we implemented it into the NIPXI and NI serial. You can see that this is the NI serial and we are getting these reference voltages. And these are the state waveforms which are provided to the converter as an input. Now, these are the results for the real-time simulations of the 6-level MMC. You can see that when the number of the level are low, this output waveform is not much smoother. And when we increase this number from 6 to onward, these output waveform will become smoother and smoother and it will become nearly sinusoidal, which are the required output waveform. Now, when the NLM is modified, you will see that these output waveform will become much more better than the uh, conventional NLM. No, you see that. When we increase the number from 6 to 51, the output waveform is much more smoother and you will see that it is nearly sinusoidal, which is the required output waveform. Now, this is the comparison of the voltage and the current THD for the offline simulation and the real-time simulation result. When the number of the level was 6, for the offline simulation result, the voltage THD for the conventional NLM was 12.1 while for the real-time simulation, it was 12.35, which is near to uh, offline simulation result. Moreover, when uh, the NLM was modified and we used the 2N plus 1 strategies, the voltage uh, THD for the offline simulation was 5.98, while for the online simulation, a uh, real-time simulation, the 6.25. Similarly, the current THD for the conventional NLM, 7.646, when the simulation was offline and uh, for the real-time simulation, it is the 7.92 and for the modified NLM, it is 4.35 for the offline and it is 6.38 for the real-time simulation results. So these are the major applications where the MMC can be used. It can be used in the high voltage direct current transmissions, renewable energy integrations, grid stabilization and power quality improvement, electric motor drives, energy storage systems, industrial power supplies, and microgrid applications. These are the references. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.